welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing five different pasta recipes. I am so excited to share these with you because they were a hit, every single one of them. My kids loved it, my husband loved it. You know, you can't go wrong with dishes like that. And they come together in no time at all. And most of them come together in one pot. So I hope you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's make some pasta. Okay, so to start us off, we are going to be making chili mac and cheese. This is such a fun take on a classic mac and cheese dish. So we're just going to start with one green bell pepper and one yellow onion, dice them up. Then over to our pot, we're just going to heat a tablespoon of olive oil and cook your pepper and onion with a little bit of salt and pepper uh, for about seven minutes or until it is nice and tender. Once the peppers and onions are softened, we are now going to add in our garlic. So I just put in a half of a teaspoon of this minced garlic, or that's three cloves of minced garlic. And then here I have a cup and a half of elbow noodles along with two cups of water. One can of pre-seasoned chili beans. And of course we need some diced tomatoes. So one can of petite diced tomatoes, and then a can of great northern beans or cannellini beans, um, and I did drain and rinse them, and then one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. As for the seasonings, we need four teaspoons of chili powder and one teaspoon of ground cumin. Give everything a really good stir. Okay, so at this point I am adding in two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper, but taste it as you go. As I always say, season to your liking. So now we are just going to stir that together and cover it up and simmer for about 25 minutes or until the pasta is nice and tender. This will thicken up as it sits. And this is what it comes out like. Let me tell you guys, this was so fun to make. I just topped it with some cilantro, some sour cream. My kids love this meal i gave it to them without the sour cream and cilantro because you know kids but still it was so delicious next up we're going to be making sausage spinach bake this is such a good fast easy meal that requires very little cleanup so we're going to start with one yellow onion and three cloves of minced garlic dice up your onion and then we are just going to brown one pound of ground italian sausage i am using mild but use whatever your family enjoys then when that is about halfway cooked we're going to add in our onion and a teaspoon each of salt and pepper and then we're going to cook it until the onions are translucent so about three to five minutes once the sausage is cooked through and the onions are nice and soft, we're gonna add in our minced garlic, give it a good stir. Then we're gonna add in a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Give everything a really good stir. And then we're gonna add in our pasta. I just cooked these butterfly noodles until they were al dente, so probably about seven or eight minutes because don't forget, we are going to bake this. And then we are gonna add in one whole jar of marinara sauce use whatever marinara sauce that you enjoy and then we're gonna add in two cups of chicken broth this is just going to help keep the noodles nice and soft and they won't get gummy or mushy when we're baking it and now we're gonna add in I've got four cups of loosely packed spinach leaves here just give everything a good mix until the spinach leaves are nice and wilted <music> Once it comes up to a low simmer, we are now just going to top it with two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. Now my pot is oven proof, so I just put the lid on it and I baked it at 400 for about 15 minutes or until the cheese was nice and melted. But you can always finish cooking this on the stove on low and covering it and doing it the same way if you do not have an oven proof pot. But anyway, this is what it comes out like. Look at how cheesy this is. Oh my goodness, this was so good. My kids absolutely devoured this meal and they had no idea how good it was for them with all that spinach inside. 
Next up, we're going to be making bang bang shrimp pasta. Oh my goodness, this was my favorite meal and I'm pretty sure it was my husband's favorite meal of all time. So we're going to start with a half a cup of mayo, half a cup of sweet chili sauce and a tablespoon of minced garlic and the juice of one lime. And I used an eighth of a teaspoon or a pinch of red pepper flakes just for a little heat. Give everything a good mix. I whisked it together to make sure there were no lumps. Now I have a pound and a half of large shrimp here and I'm just using about a teaspoon each of smoked paprika, pepper, and minced garlic and I gave everything a really good stir. Over to our skillet, I am just heating up a tablespoon of coconut oil. You can use any oil you'd like, but I feel like coconut oil goes really well with this dish. So I am just going to cook the shrimp about three minutes per side until it is nice and pink and cooked through. Making a shrimp dish is one of my favorite things because it cooks so quickly. Now I have a three quarters of a pound of thin spaghetti and I'm just adding that right in with the sauce and all you have to do is pretty much heat it all the way through and I topped it with some parsley and you guys, this was so amazing. I'm not even kidding. It was probably one of the best dishes I've made in a very long time. Now we are going to be making taco and shells pasta. Let me tell you guys, this really brings you back to your childhood. It's so good. So we're gonna start by browning one pound of ground beef and just make sure you are draining the excess fat. Mine was a little bit fatty this week, I am not gonna lie. And you know, I love this paper towel um, trick because it just prevents so much extra dishes that we really don't need when we're just trying to do it quickly, right? So I've got a tablespoon of butter here. I'm just gonna melt that all together. And then I got two tablespoons of minced garlic and just give everything a good mix. Now we are going to add in two tablespoons of tomato paste and stir together until everything is a nice, beautiful red color. And then I have this packet of taco seasoning. I honestly gotta check how many tablespoons are actually in this. I think it's somewhere around a quarter cup. I never measured it. And then anyway, we are going to add in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, which makes such a difference. And then one can of the diced tomatoes with green chilies, one cup of beef broth, and a cup of chicken broth. Stick with me here. I promise this is going to come together so yummy. And then a cup of milk. Give everything a good stir. And then we're going to add in a half of this box of shells once everything comes to a low simmer we're just going to add that in stir it all together and then cover it up we're going to cook this on medium low for about 25 minutes or until the shells are nice and tender um, just give it a good mix and then we're going to add in our cheese so it's gonna be uh, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. You can honestly use whatever cheese you'd like, but I absolutely love cheddar and I always suggest to shred it yourself, especially when you're adding it into a hot soup or pasta because it just melts so much better. Anyways, I topped it with some green onions and oh my goodness, this was so good. Another meal that we all devoured. our final recipe this week we're making chicken alfredo roll-ups oh my goodness these were so amazing so i started by cooking up a few pieces of chicken breast these are frozen if you have rotisserie chicken that's good too um, you just need two cups of shredded chicken then over to my pot i am going to add in 12 of these lasagna noodles and we're just going to cook them until they're al dente fun little trick here is once the water starts boiling over add in a few ice cubes and it will prevent anything from boiling over i love this hack um, and then over to our bowl of shredded chicken like i said it's two cups i'm going to add in half of this jar of alfredo sauce and a quarter cup of parmesan cheese along with a teaspoon each of garlic powder italian seasoning and i've got half of a lemon here i'm just zesting and that lemon zest really just brings out this amazing brightness and then i've got a cup of mozzarella cheese and then a little salt and pepper give everything a really good stir until everything is nice and well combined 
now over to our assembly line. We are going to spray our 9x13 baking dish and we're just going to start assembling our roll-ups. So all I did was pretty much put about two tablespoons of the mixture in each roll up and I just rolled it up and put it right into our baking dish. Once we're done assembling our roll-ups, we are just going to top it with the rest of that jar of Alfredo sauce, and then top it with another cup of the shredded mozzarella cheese, and another quarter cup of the Parmesan cheese. And then we're just gonna cover it up with some aluminum foil. Um, another little trick that I like to do is I like to spray my aluminum foil with some nonstick spray. This way, no cheese or nothing sticks to it. And then we're gonna bake it at 400 for about 25 minutes until everything is nice and cooked through and melted. I topped it with some fresh parsley and this is what it comes out like. Um, I would probably serve it next to a salad next time, but oh my goodness, this was so good. The lemon flavor really, really helped bring out everything. All right, friends, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and the like button so I know you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more videos. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys in the next one.